Trigger 1.65 has a couple of cool new features. First is the MIDI capture functionality, which allows you to capture MIDI directly from an audio track independent from the host. This means that the MIDI track created using this feature will be very accurate. Let's see how this feature works. Here we can see two buttons. The left button allows you to drag and drop captured MIDI into the host. The right button clears Trigger's MIDI buffer. You need to use this button to clear the MIDI buffer after you've made some triggering parameter adjustments. For instance, you've tried to trigger a snare track using the sensitivity at 13. Then you decide to change the sensitivity to 18. You need to press the right button to clear the MIDI buffer and recapture MIDI with a new sensitivity value. To capture MIDI data, you just press the play button in your DAW and wait until Trigger captures MIDI information from the audio track. Now we can drag and drop the MIDI data into our DAW. Let's check the accuracy. Wow, the accuracy is great. One more new feature in the Trigger 1.65 update is link functionality from Dynamics and Velocity Curves. Let's see how it works. I have two instruments here and want to change the Dynamics Curve value for both instruments at the same time. To do this, I just press the Link button and adjust the Dynamics. As you can see, the value has changed for both instruments. All this and more in the new Trigger 1.65 update.